Hey everyone, Albert here with Fast Fuel Systems, and today we're going to install our DIFS Ram 4001 on this really nice 2019 Ram 6.7 liter. Now this install should take about an hour to do roughly, and it's super easy. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is unbox everything and make sure that you have all the contents. Now let's get started. Now the first thing we're going to do is place a drain pan under the rear mounted OEM filter housing and drain the water separator. Now release the locking tabs and disconnect the two fuel lines from the OEM rear mounted filter housing and the electrical connector. Remove the OEM rear mounted filter from the housing assembly. Using a 13 millimeter socket, remove the two bolts holding the housing assembly to the mount and remove the housing assembly. Now install DIFS RAM WH4001 into the OEM rear whiff sensor connector. Place a drain pan under the OEM fuel filter housing assembly and drain the water separator. Install 10-ORB-375-QC into the fuel manifold and 8-ORB-375-QC into the open rear port on the FAS. Tighten both fittings accordingly. Place the 3 quarter inch bolts through DIFS-UNI-BRKT-1001 with the three supplied aluminum spacers. Place the bracket onto the FAS and tighten accordingly. Now remove the driver side front bed bolt and discard. Place the supplied M12 hex bolt through the supplied washer in PFB-2002 with the supplied spacer. Secure the bracket in the OEM bed bolt hole location and tighten accordingly. Place the four 3 8 bolts through the supplied washer and DIFS-UNI-BRKT-1001 with the supplied aluminum spacer GMCSPCR-1001. Place the bracket onto PFB-2002 using the four supplied locking nuts and tighten accordingly. Now remove the 3 8 OEM quick connect line from the fuel tank module. Using grease, press A624M53-08-02 into FL-1001 and secure using HC-1001. Install A624M53-08-02 onto the OEM 3 8 quick connect port and route FL-1001 to the FAS and trim accordingly. Using grease, press A614M53-08-02 into FL-1001 and secure using HC-1001. Install A614M53-08-02 onto the FAS. Disconnect the OEM fuel line from the CP3, then remove the fitting. Now install DIPF-1003 in place of the OEM fitting and tighten accordingly. Remove the factory whiff sensor connector and connect into DIFS-RAM-WH-1001. Disconnect the 5 16 OEM fuel return line fitting located on the driver side frame rail next to the front drive shaft. Using grease, press QPD3B-05F-04-05M into FL-1010 and secure using HC-4001. 
install QPD3B-05F-04-05M onto the OEM Quick Connect return line and reinstall the OEM Quick Connect to QPD3B-05F-04-05M. Route DIFS-RAM-WH-1001, FL-1001, and FL-1010 to the FAST with the supplied cable ties. Using grease, press A614M53-08-02 into FL-1001 and secure using HC-1001. Install A614M53-08-02 onto the FAS. Using grease, press PL-1012 into FL-1010 and connect PL-1012 to the FAS return and tighten accordingly. Apply grease to the XWS-3002 gasket, then install onto the FAS. Apply grease to the CWS-1010 gasket, then install onto the FAS. Install WIFS-1002 into the bottom of CWS-1010. Connect DIFS-RAM-WH-1001 to WIFS-1002. So we just finished up the install on the DIFS RAM 4001. Now we're gonna start it up and check the leaks.